Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to day 14 of Crummy's Christmas Countdown. Uh, yeah, I mean, the time is flying, isn't it? I'm back in the ACDC Christmas jumper. I think, I can't remember if it was the jumper or the shirt. It was the shirt that got confused last time as not being a Christmas related item, but indeed it is. I might wear that one tomorrow just to clarify the situation. But yes, this one, ACDC's, uh, for those about to have a great Christmas. I can never remember what it says on the bottom, uh, but for some reason there's a cannon and some candy canes and holly and anyway. Uh, let's get on to it. What is behind door number 14? And there we have it, two days in a row, I'm doing beers I've never had from breweries I've never had from. Uh, this time we are in Belgium, I was confused at the beginning of yesterday's video, it was indeed a German beer, but this is very much Belgian, and it's from La Chauffe, I think is the pronunciation, which I assume means the gnome or the... I don't know what, but um, anyway, the original La Chauffe, I've seen a lot, and I do want to try, and in fact, I do have a bottle, but this one is their Christmas edition. It's called Nice Chauffe, or Nice Chauffe, or Nice Chauffe, Nice, I don't really know, uh, but it is their winter beer, and it comes in at a whopping 10%. This boy's not messing around, not messing around at all. Um, so, let's get into it. Firstly, a quick look at the bottle. Some fantastic festive artwork there, a couple of the uh, Le Chauffe gnomes, whatever they are, hanging around a uh, fire in a winter wonderland, and then normal kind of Belgian style labelling. Let's do it. I really need to get a more generic Belgian glass, but uh, as always I'm going for the left glass as it's kind of the most appropriate for this style I guess. There we go. Not a bad pour. In the glass then, oh wow, the aroma as I moved it past me, that's gonna, this this is gonna be feisty, I can tell. Um, it looks quite dark on camera, but actually it's um, not even quite as dark as yesterday's beer, in this glass at least. It's, uh, it's dark red, uh, but hold it up to some light and you get some real red notes coming through. I don't think the camera's gonna do it justice, but uh, it's definitely a red beer rather than a properly, properly dark one. One finger off white head on the top. It's 10%, so that probably won't stick around too long. Let's see how she sniffs. Wafts of Belgian yeast, to be honest, is the overwhelming sensation on the nose. Bit of heat from the alcohol. That really is it. There's not a lot more other than that kind of, uh, kind of confectionery, banana, bubblegummy thing uh, that's just so stereotypical of Belgian yeast. Um, there's nothing to give away at this point that this is indeed a festive beer, but uh, I'm sure that will change in a moment, so let's get into it. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Okay. This is, first of all, a good beer. It's a very, very Belgian beer. It's unmistakably Belgian yeast, like there's no getting away from it in this. It's there in spades and it's light, it's creamy, I say it's light, it's 10%, you know what I mean. The mouthfeel is not too heavy but it's not too thin. Um, overall it's a good straight up Belgian beer. Had you asked me to blind taste it I would never have said that that was a Christmas special. I don't think, but there's just a little bit there's something creeping in at the back. Um, so let's see if we can figure out what all that is. So uh, let's just do it. Top to bottom taste test. Initially, big prick of carbonation on the front of the tongue. Slightly sweet, tiny bit of alcohol burn. Next phase is smooth, sweet, a bit malty actually. You start to just get a flicker of some of the other ingredients. That moves on to what is a relatively refreshing kind of mouthfeel on the swallow. It's... um. Yeah, a bit spritzy, a bit carbonated, not crazy, but just enough to really spike it at the back of the mouth. As soon as you swallow, big release of that Belgian yeast flavour, whatever you want to call it, bubblegum, banana, whatever, it's that, it's there. Touch of clove, and then as you rest it down and sit back, so you really shouldn't be drinking a lot of this in one go, it is 10%, and just think about what you've just experienced which is ultimately a pretty regular, if not quite strong, Belgian beer. There's just a bit of heat. There's a bit of something 
that lingers. It's probably a bit of a duet between the alcohol content and something else. But, I mean, there's no doubt it's a winter warmer. I'm not getting anything particularly festive flavoured, although there's an argument for something cinnamon inspired, but it's not really breaking through. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can find out any more on the bottle. I've just realised I'm wearing a jumper for this one. It's 10%. I am red hot right now. So, Nice, Nice, Chauf, uh says, uh, Belgish winter beer, Belgian winter beer, 10%, 330ml bottle. Um, it says, strong beer. You're not wrong. Uh, right, it's quite difficult to read this bottle, so do bear with me. The ingredients are water, barley malt, uh, invert sugar syrup, hop, yeast, orange peel, and thyme. Okay, I've, I mean, I wasn't really getting any orange peel and thyme, if I'm honest, but hey, that's what's in it. Um, and everything else on there is the same thing in several different languages. And their normal info, and that really is about it. They don't give much away, the Belgians, normally on their beers. It's normally pretty succinct and to the point, uh, but I guess they have to do ship it internationally, so their labels have to conform to every given possible standard, I guess. Um, yeah. And this one is good until August 2023, so... Uh, it will survive a while, I think it's fair to say. I feel like this is going to be a very short review. I really like this beer, but I really like Belgian beer. From memory, I don't think I paid a huge amount for it. As a result, well, for the quality in the ABV, yeah, absolutely big thumbs up. It's not an absolute festive tree, but I'll tell you what, sip one of those after your Christmas dinner and you will be asleep till Boxing Day. And that really is all I have to say about it. So apologies if it has been a bit of a shorter one than normal, but... I just don't have any more. It's very nice. I'm quite interested to try the original because, well, this doesn't taste especially special, if that makes sense. I would, if I'd tasted this and you told me that was the original La Chauffe, then I would have said, yeah, even though I've not tried it. You know what I mean? It just tastes like a regular variant. Um, so I'll be interested to see how that differs. Uh, but until then, and until tomorrow for day 15, wowzer, uh, that is everything. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already, subscribe if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers.